The video you are about to view is a scientifically supported presentation of the body's response to the physiological stresses and strains of firefighting. Every day, emergency responders go about their routine, prepared to respond to the next emergency call. But when the alarm sounds, the emergency responder has a rapid increase in all the vital signs, particularly if the alarm occurs during a rest period. To illustrate, the firefighter is deploying a hose line to provide water to a fire engine, and attack lines must also be advanced utilizing other muscle groups. Other routine tasks, such as the deployment of ground ladders, occur while the fire attack team advances hose lines. Notice the strain on the back and legs of the responder. These often must be carried several hundred feet and placed around the burning structure. As the responders are preparing for fire attack, the officer in charge must size up the building and all other factors around the situation to determine the correct strategy to mitigate the situation. Mental stressors will continue to grow as the officer instructs the firefighter to make an offensive interior attack to extinguish the fire. Vertical and horizontal ventilation, when ordered, are means of removing smoke and heat from a structure. As you can see in the video, different muscle groups are utilized. It is important to note that the work of extinguishing a fire is more than tasks performed inside the structure. In full gear, core temperatures continue to increase as the responder completes the assigned tasks. Firefighters remain in their protective ensembles, decreasing dexterity. Physiological stressors increase as the responder makes entry into a burning structure. Ambient temperatures may climb to 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. Smoke contaminants in the atmosphere cling to the protective ensemble, exposing the responder to many carcinogenic chemicals. After the work of mitigating the incident, all the equipment must be put back into service as rapidly as possible. Preparation for the next emergency starts even before the current event is complete. For many fire departments, there may be little to no recovery time between events. Each year, approximately 80,000 firefighters are injured and about 100 firefighters lose their lives in the line of duty. Well-designed fitness programs may improve the firefighter's overall health and fitness. It is important for you as a fire department physician to be integrally involved in the development of the fire department medical monitoring program. These documents will help you to evaluate better, treat, and monitor the unique health and wellness needs of firefighters. For additional information, visit fstarresearch.org slash roadmap and fstarresearch.org slash getchecked.